It's time for the Eve Olympics. Eve is the newest chromatic brawler coming to the game, and she's the third and final member of the Star Force trio. She'll be available in Season 11 of the Brawl Pass at Tier 30. Eve is an alien flea from outer space that has crash-landed and now has to find a safe place for her babies. As a flea, she's somewhat parasitic because she's always searching for hosts to feed her babies with, and those hosts include all the other brawlers in the game. Ugh, what a waste of resources. Playtime, kids! Mind your language. Eve's attack, Egg Shooter. For her attack, she fires three eggs in a straight line. The eggs are each sized differently and deal damage differently based off of their size. The bigger the egg, the more damage it deals and the more easily it hits its target. They can't pierce through targets and they don't explode, so they can only hit one target at a time. Eve's super, Baby Boom. For her super, she throws down a giant egg that releases three hatchlings after a few seconds. These hatchlings target the nearest enemy and latch onto them, each dealing 1,200 damage over four seconds. Now, each of the hatchlings have their own individual health that actually depletes over time, and enemies can deal damage to them, and if they reach zero before they hit a target, then they get destroyed. Also, the giant egg itself has its own health as well, and if an enemy destroys the egg before the hatchlings pop out, they'll never hatch, so make sure you find a safe place for it. Another thing about these hatchlings is that they are actually able to deal damage to more than one target, each individually. The radius is very small, but if two enemies are really close to each other, the hatchling can deal damage to all of them. We've got more to show you with Eve, but first... Hello, this is future Kairos and yes I shaved and also yes I'm in a hotel room and yes this video is sponsored by Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Mobile Legends Bang Bang is a 5v5 mobile game where each team tries to defend their own base while also trying to take out the enemy base. You're gonna want to click the link in the description below to download right now. With over 1 billion downloads across the world Mobile Legends Bang Bang Esports is actually very competitive and really exciting to watch. Since 2017 Mobile Legends Bang Bang has held a world championship each year and last year's was insane. BTK from North America played really well and that's who I'm rooting for this year. As the game grows, more and more skilled players are getting opportunities to compete in really big tournaments like this and really get to make a name for themselves as professional gamers, which is something I really love about this game. And speaking of big awesome tournaments, the Star Cup is happening in a couple of weeks and I'm going to be posting my team on my YouTube community page, so stay tuned for that. The tournament's going to be streamed live on March 5th, and you guys are going to want to show up to uh, root for your favorite content creator. No, I'm not talking about OJ or Ben Tim or Sir Tag. You're going to be rooting for me. The Kairos Warriors, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Now, obviously, the players are going to win some awesome prizes, but even the viewers who watch the live stream will have a chance to win cool prizes as well. You even have a chance at winning $100 Amazon gift cards just by watching this video, and all you have to do is leave a comment below with your Mobile Legends Bang Bang player ID, your server ID, and hashtag Kairos Warriors. Also, make sure you guys use the link in the description below to join the Mobile Legends Bang Bang Discord server and use this code on the screen to redeem some cool in-game prizes. This is Future Kairos sticking by, and thanks again to Mobile Legends Bang Bang for sponsoring this video. Eve's first gadget is gotta go. When Eve activates this gadget, she instantly hops off the ground and moves forward a short distance. Additionally, she leaves behind a hatchling in her place that is exactly the same as her regular hatchlings that spawn from her super. This gadget is very similar to Brock's Rocket Laces gadget, but since she isn't blasting a rock it to the ground, she doesn't actually knock enemies back when she jumps. This is super useful for hopping over walls or dodging attacks or maybe even dealing damage if you really need to. Eve's second gadget is Motherly Love. That is right, this is the first time that a brawler is being released with two gadgets. This gadget can only be activated if Eve has a giant egg on the field that hasn't hatched yet. Once activated, the hatchlings that spawn from her super will target Eve or her teammates and heal them instead of dealing damage. If all three hatchlings find a host to heal, they can heal a total of 4,500 health, which is is one of the highest healing gadgets in the game. Eve's first star power is Unnatural Order. This star power switches the size of Eve's eggs and fires them in a reverse order, so she'll fire her largest egg first and her smallest one last. When I first tried this out, it didn't seem like this was going to be very good, but after playing it, and even just against bots, I can already tell you that you'll hit your shots way more frequently with this star power equipped. Not only do enemies have more time to dodge the third projectile, but the bigger the egg, the more likely it will hit. So this might not seem like a game-changing star power, but it is definitely useful. Just not as useful as her second star power. <laughs> Eve's second star power is Happy Surprise. Every time Eve hits an enemy brawler with the largest egg or her third egg from her main attack, a hatchling will spawn from it. It has to be a brawler that is hit by the egg. Safes, pets, turrets, siege bots, rip siege, <laughs> will not spawn a hatchling. It takes a moment for the hatchling to actually hit the ground, but once it does, it will immediately go to the closest enemy target. Between her super, her gadget, and her star power, she can have a lot of hatchlings on the ground at one time, and there's 
never a need to wait for one to be destroyed in order to spawn another one. So just keep them coming. Eve also has a trait that allows her to float over water. Until now, no brawler has been able to travel and stop over water. Silver brawlers can like roll over it or jump over it or anything like that, but none of them have been able to freely move around while on top of water. And I don't think this trait is going to break the game at all. It might break some of the map maker maps, but it's mostly just going to add some cool new strategies that will allow Eve to play on maps that she otherwise probably wouldn't actually be that great on. Now that we know how Eve works, it's time for her to face up against the Brawl Stars Olympics events. Starting with her worst event and moving our way up to her best, the reload test. Not only does Eve have a really slow reload speed, but she also has one of the slowest unload speeds out of all the brawlers in the game. She reloads all 10 ammo in 25.1 seconds, and that actually puts her in 55th place, which if you're paying attention, is dead last. That just goes to show how important it is for you to try and conserve your ammo when playing her. The one second DPS test. Eve waits for her hatchlings to spawn and then spawns a fourth hatchling with her gadget just in time so that all the hatchlings hit the boss at about the same time. As the hatchlings are traveling toward the boss, she unloads her main attack so that when the last hatchling hits, she deals 3,422 damage in one second, which puts her in 53rd place just above Byron. The swarm test. Now Eve throws her super away from her so that her hatchlings can start wearing down the bots toward the top. And while reloading, she activates her gadget to spawn an extra hatchling. She aims down the row so that if one egg destroys a bot, then the next two will still deal damage to the other bots. She defeats the swarm in 24.4 seconds and gets 50 second place, which suggests that she's not very good at dealing with multiple enemies at once. The area test. Now Eve's main attack is pretty narrow, but it shoots very far. She's able to take out two rows of 10 skulls for a total of 20 skulls with her main attack. And since her supers can't actually destroy any skulls, she gets a total score of 20, which ties her with Rosa and Max for 50th place. And that suggests that she's not gonna be that good at area control, although her super will do a pretty good job at pushing brawlers back. The box test. Now Eve's main attack can't go through boxes. And as we've seen, it takes a long time for her to unload her shots. Similar to the swarm test, she has to make sure that she hits the boxes in rows so that she doesn't waste any of her eggs. Unfortunately, her hatchlings are no use to her in this test because they don't actually target boxes. She finishes the box test in one minute and 12 seconds, which puts her right below Crow and Lou and suggests that she won't be that great at ramping up damage in Showdown. The level 25 Siege Bot Test. Rip Siege. Eve has to throw her super down before the boss even spawns so that it has enough time to spawn her hatchlings. When the boss gets too close, she uses her gadget to hop away from it, which adds a little extra damage. The bot almost destroys the Ike trip, but Eve's able to hang on with 7% health remaining, which ties her with Carl, Edgar, Amber, Colonel Ruffs, Colette, and Barley for 39th place. The Super Range Test. Eve can throw her super five and one third tiles away, and once the giant egg hatchlings explode, they jump out an additional four tiles around the egg. This makes for a total of nine and one third tiles which puts Eve in 37th place for this test. Although technically they could travel a very long distance, so keep that in mind. The supercharge test. It takes Eve exactly 10 eggs to charge up her super, which requires four ammo. It doesn't matter what size the eggs are when it actually comes to charging her super because they all charge up the same amount, even though they deal different amounts of damage. Eve's slow unload speed holds her back and she charges her super in 2.2 seconds, so she ties with Carl for 31st place. The boss test. Eve charges her super with her first three ammo and places her super in just the right spot so that all three of the hatchlings will go for the boss. She uses her gadget while she's reloading just to deal a little bit of extra damage, and she also has her happy surprise star power equipped, which spawns a hatchling every single time she hits the boss, so that poison damage actually really starts to stack up. She may not deal a lot of damage in one second, but give her some time and Eve can deal some serious damage. She defeats the boss in 52.9 seconds, which is fast enough for 30th place. The Assassin Test. Eve basically does the same thing here that she did in the one second damage test, except she's able to deal significantly more poison damage since she has two more seconds for her attacks to deal damage over time. She deals 10,020 damage in three seconds, which puts her in 30th place out of all the brawlers. Now we're on to the test where Eve did better than over half of the brawlers in the game, the race test. Eve only has a normal movement speed, but she does have a gadget that boosts her forward just a little bit. It also recharges fast enough that she's able to use all three, and the last one causes her to cross the finish line midair. She ends up finishing the race test in 11.4 seconds and gets 26th place. The Survival Test Eve doesn't really have a lot of health, but thanks to her motherly love gadget, she's able to heal up quite a bit over time. In fact, she heals the same amount as her total health, so it's as if she has double the amount of health. She's able to survive for 23.5 seconds, which puts her in 18th place. The Super Damage Test 
Each of Eve's hatchlings deal 300 damage per second for 4 seconds. In total, she's able to deal 3,600 damage if all of them hit the same target, and that is more damage than Meg's mecha can deal with her sword, but keep in mind that the enemies can kill the fleas before they reach them. Eve ends up getting 16th place for this test. The Dive Test Why did they have to take seeds from us? Eve throws her super down just outside of the Ike turret's range and waits for her hatchlings to start taking shots for her. She actually takes a few hits so that one of her hatchlings from her super can actually reach the turret and deal some damage, and the hatchling from her gadget is also barely able to reach a turret and deal even a little bit more damage. Eve's able to take out 31% of the Ike's turret health, which puts her in 13th place. The Attack Range Test Now Eve's reticle stretches and shows 9 and 2 thirds tiles long, which is just as far as Leon's, Squeak's, and Rico's main attacks. I should mention though, that since each of Eve's eggs are different sizes, not only are they different in width, but they are also very slightly different in length. That means that the largest egg actually has a slightly longer range than the smallest egg by just a little bit. And now it's time for Eve's best test. And after that, I'm going to talk about how strong I think she's going to be in each game mode. The three attack kill test. Eve's three eggs deal a total of 2,340 damage. And since Eve's happy surprise spawns a hatchling, that's an additional 1,200 damage for just one single ammo. With three ammo and three hatchlings, she's able to deal 10,620 damage with three attacks, which is the second highest damaging attack in the game. In fact, it is just enough that she she can take out every single brawler with three ammo, including Frank, unless he happens to equip his sponge star power. She deals an insane amount of damage. She just needs a little bit of time to do it. So the question is, how strong do I think she's going to be? First up is gem grab. And the thing is with gem grab is that Eve has really great range, which is actually like a pretty good reason to put her as like a gem carrier. And her hatchlings offer really good support for her teammates because it's oftentimes going to waste ammo and allow her to actually push teammates away or push enemies away. As a long range gem carrier, she's really solid at 1v1ing a lot of different brawlers. One thing that's also really nice is if she ever has a situation where she's in a like she's low on health or her teammates on low on health, then she can use her gadget to try and heal them up. And like it's a lot of healing. So it's actually really, really solid. I'm putting even the A tier for gem grab because gem grabs a really patient game and she's a very patient brawler. Brawl Ball, on the other hand, is not a very patient game mode. The biggest problem that I feel like Eve will have in this game mode is that she just doesn't have a way to stop brawlers from like walking the ball right into the goal. Burst damage and control abilities are really necessary in Brawl Ball, and Eve just doesn't really have that. All of her damage is damage over time, or she has a really low, slow reload speed or unload speed, so she can't even burst people down. She would be okay somewhat on open maps, but other than that, honestly, I wouldn't even recommend her anyway, so I'm putting her in the C tier for Brawl Ball. Next, we got Heist, and Eve doesn't deal a lot of burst damage, but she does deal a ton of damage fairly consistently throughout the match, which is what we saw in the boss test. I probably wouldn't recommend using her as like some sort of like a base race brawler, but she could do somewhat okay on defense and she could also do somewhat okay on offense. She definitely would be my first choice and probably not the best choice. So I think the B tier is probably fair for heist for her. Next up, we got Siege and I think Oh, shoot. Siege. Okay, actually, we have Bounty, and she has a lot of tools that makes her really great for Bounty. She's got a great range, her super essentially has infinite range, and her gadget helps her avoid really powerful attacks. She even has more health than a lot of the popular squishy brawlers in Bounty, like Piper or Byron or even Brock. And her hatchlings are amazingly good. Not like, I don't, I don't think that enemy brawlers are gonna allow the hatchlings to reach them, but they'll do a great job at forcing enemies to to waste their ammo and that's going to force enemies back which is going to give you more ground control and allow eve to just get some really good kills i think that she's an s tier brawler for bounty she's going to be really good but i don't think she's going to be very good in hot zone okay i can't imagine her being able to spend a lot of time inside the zone without having to fall back to reload and also she's not very good at dealing damage to multiple enemies at once which both of those things are really essential if you want to be a good hot zone brawler i don't quite think that she's good enough for the b tier so i'm going to go with the c tier in hot zone which is just, you just don't play her Knockout, on the other hand, though, is a game mode that I could see her really thrive in, okay? She's got the long range, which is really a good characteristic to have for a brawler in Knockout, but the other characteristic in Knockout is there's a lot of brawlers that are trying to, like, hide in bushes, turn invisible, sneak around the map, jump over at you, like, and she's really great at long range stuff, but she does struggle to deal burst damage against those enemies who sneak up on her. I don't think that she'll be quite S tier, but I definitely think that she will be somewhat competitive in Knockout, which is why I think the A tier is actually really good for her. Next is 
showdown. And the one really good thing for Eve in showdown is that she has those hatchlings that allow her to find enemy targets, which is actually really great. It forces enemies to reveal themselves, use their ammo, and if they don't actually run away, then they're, they're gonna take some damage from it. You can also even just use her gadget at any point to force a spawn, this, which is gonna chase somebody down and show you where enemies are. However, I wouldn't rank her too high in solo showdown because she really struggles in 1v1 situations on a showdown map if she's not able to take out an enemy with her first three ammo because it takes her so long to reload her shots. She does have a solid range though, so for some maps, I could see her being okay, which is why I feel like the B tier is solid for her. But even a bit better is duo showdown because having a teammate is gonna help her stay out of those 1v1 fights. She's really great at locating brawlers and also preventing them from healing, and she can also heal her teammate with her gadget, which is actually really solid, and that's why I think she's gonna be an A tier brawler for this game mode. Kind of like a long range support damage dealer kind of a brawler. Finally, we've got all of Eve's voice lines, but before we get to that, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, okay? This is my last sneak peek for this update, but I will be doing sneak peeks for, free for future updates. And also, I'd appreciate you guys using code Kairos. Next up are Eve's voice lines, but let me know what you think about her in the comment section below. Don't make me go there. I don't want to say this twice. Oh dear, now I have to use force. Oh my, oh my! Who would hurt a mother? You're grounded! You'd better start behaving! Look at this primitive life form! Oh, pathetic! Oh, what a waste of resources! Mind your language! Oh, be better! Please! Sorry, but you deserve that! Oh, <laughs> wait till I tell the kids! Mother knows best! I wear the pants in this family! One flea in the place to be! The queen flea? That's me! Ooh. <laughs> Kids, follow mommy. Useful and mostly harmless. Doing it for the children. I am your forever friend. Mommy needs to find a host. Time for a field trip. Get them, kids. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? I gave you life, but really, you gave me mine. How adorbs. Mommy loves you. How do you like your eggs? Playtime, kids. Off you pop. Isn't a place for my babies? I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. I can't leave my children. I leave everything to the babies. Avenge me, children!